Uh, good morning, charter school friends. This is Mrs. Dome, and this is my girl, Porgy Ann, and we just wanted to say hi to y'all, and hope that y'all enjoyed your break, and that you're ready to go on this different kind of school journey with us together, and yeah, so just welcome. I'm posting this on the YouTube channel, Mrs. Dome's Science Lab, where my goal is to uh, hopefully be able to do some like lab demos for y'all to either follow along at home if you have materials and or um, or at least watch so but we're not doing that today um, but I will be doing like morning meeting stuff on here too as well as some read aloud sometimes and just you know different ways to connect so today, I would like to read aloud this book for you. Uh, it's called Skippy John Jones. I'm sure a lot of y'all have already read this book. I've heard it before. And it is by Judy Schnaschner. 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 Judy Schnaschner. <laughs> I can't. Anyway, Skippy John Jones. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. There's our friend. He's in the bird bath. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Britches, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds. She scolded or ate worms or flew or did his laundry in Mrs. Doogie's bird bath. Let's see if you can see that. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do some tr serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother about just what it means to be a cat. A, not a bird, not a mouse or a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. Hmm. I wonder why does his mom not want him to go in his closet? I wonder if we're gonna find out. Well, once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I bounce on my bed, and once or six times I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic bat, bit a gigantic big bounce. Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy wakamoly! Exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? What do you think he saw? So up he went again, and again it appeared. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he said, My ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a Chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing a, in a mooey, mooey soft voice. My name is Skippito Frisquito, but fear not a single bandito. My nanners are mellow and sweet like the cello. I get the job done, yes indeed -o. So you wanna sing that along with Skippito? My name is Capito Fresquito. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow and sweet like the jello. I get the jam, yes, yes, so oh, indeed. -o. Back 
in the kitchen, Juju B, Jezebel, and J Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Juju B. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. <laughs> With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterious band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay caramba, who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I'm Skipito, or I am El Skipito, the greatest sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? asked Poquito Tito. I go incognito, said Skipito. Do you like rice and beans? asked Pinto Lito. Si. I love mice and beans, said Skippito. Mice and beans? I'm pretty sure they said rice and beans, right? Well, he might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Charter school friends, what do you think that this password is that he's going to have to say? What do you think about that? Let's see if you're right. Leaning toward Don Diego, El Scapito half sneezed, half spoke the secret word into the Chihuahua's very large ear. Ah, Chupichu! Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias said Skippito. This, then it is true, declared Don Diego. Yip, yippee, yippito. It is the end of, of Alfredo Bazito. Skippito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad bumblebito. And all the chihuahuas went crazy loco. <laughs> loco actually means crazy in Spanish. First, they had a fiesta, which means a party. Then they took a siesta, which is a nap. But after waking up, the chimichangos got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great Bumblebito for Scapito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos as so great the one could hear a whisper drop. That's very quiet. Alfredo Buzito, whispered the crowd. El Blimpo Bumbito Bandito. See! Si said Poquito Tito. The bendito steals our frijoles. Not your beans, cried Skipito, outraged. See, si, Poquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, coca, coffee, kidney beans, pinto, and jelly too. And now he comes for us, Poquito added. Por qué? asked Skipito. Because we're all full of beans, too. Actually, saying you're full of beans is something my, my nana used to tell me when I was being silly. Like when I was being silly about something, she'd say, oh, you're just so full of beans. Or if I'm just saying nonsense, meaning things that are just silly and not true. But we'll see if it, they meant it or no literal way. Then Don Diego stood tall and 
in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero frijoles. Huh? asked Gepito. The dude just wants his beans back, said Poquito Tito, and you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Gepito. Then all the chimichangas turned towards Gepito and the great sword fighter. What do you think is going to happen next? What's your prediction? But poor Scapito had no time for a plan because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamos, Scapito! Or it is you, the bendito will ito, they cried. Scapito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like the jello, and his teeth chattered like the castanets. That means that I, like, you know, if you're really scared or you're really cold. Then, in a mooey, mooey, soft voice, he said, My name is Capito Fresquito. I Fear not a single pandito. But Alfredo Bazito flew straight for Scapito until the bean eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. So they're like about this close. Only free holes, cried Scapito as he thrust his sword into the air. Suddenly, pop, went the bendito, landing on Scapito's sword, and quicker than one could say chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers, every kind of bean spilling out for Alfredo Bazito, the bombito, a uh, bumblepito <laughs> bendito, all those beans. Even jelly beans, pinto beans, blue beans, all the beans coming out of the bumblebee. The bumblebee big toe. Then all the doggies burst into song. Yip, yippee, yippito. Our hero is El Scapito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans and now we can all make bur our burritos. So let's sing that together again, friends. Yip, yippee, yippito. Our hero is El Scapito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans and now we can make our burritos. There they are. But back at home, there was such a ruckus from coming from Skippy John's room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Anguito, Crashito, Papito, Scapito! Just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. Look at all that stuff. I bet Mama Junebug Jones is going to make him clean it up. Yeah, you gotta clean up after yourselves. <laughs> Then out flew Candy, beanbag doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday piñata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. Hola muchachas, he said in a muy, muy soft voice. So he would say it like this. Hola muchachas. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with her furry, furry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. It sounded like she was scolding him in a very loving way. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. 
Oh, I am Skippy Jun Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I am a cat, but forget about that. Say good night, Skippy Jun Jones called his mama. Buenas noches, mi amigos, said Skippy Jun Jones. And with that, my charter school friends, I say adios to you too. So let's sing our goodbye song. So long, farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye for now, until we meet again. I said so long, farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye for now, until we meet again. Yeah, ba da ba ba. Bye, guys.